Here we have verse 40 of the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus is driving home this irresistible logic connected with his safekeeping of those who come to him, declaring that everyone that the Father gives to him does indeed come to him, and anyone that comes to him, he will not allow that person to be per to perish. He's not going to cast that person out. That person is not going to be lost, and he does this in precise submission to the will of his Father. He continues to drive home the point, really in some ways repeating and emphasizing the force of what he said. Tuto, this is the demonstrative pronoun, neuter, singular, masculine, this, gar, for this, esten, from a me, I am, third person singular, present active indicative, this is to thelema, the will. Thelema, the noun form of the verb thelo, I wish, I will, I want. Tuto is neuter because it agrees with thelema, which is neuter, so this is the will to, this is the genitive, singular, masculine article of the patros, the father, pater, the word mu, this is the will of the father of me, or my will, that, henna, uh, or in order that, it uh, takes the subjunctive, which is going to show up eventually, in fact, way down here, but uh, that every, pos, pos, upon, it means all or every, if it's a singular, it usually means every, and that's what we have here. It's the masculine singular uh, nominative of this uh, adjective. So, pos, ho, every one who. Uh, the, uh, the definite article here is idiomatic. So, every, the, theoron. This is from theorao, to behold. We get the word theory from this. So everyone who beholds or sees, is the idea of it, ton huion, who sees the sun. Not, of course, in the sense of just simply casually seeing the sun as uh, one who was living 2,000 years ago in Palestine, but uh, the sense of it really is to see and understand, to see and recognize. And so it not only is to see the sun, but also we have additionally kai pistuon, and believe. So both of these are participles. Both of them are nominative, singular, masculine, present participles. So the seeing the sun and believing ace out tone. Ace is the preposition, takes the accusative, which we find here, the pronoun, masculine, singular, accusative pronoun. So everyone who sees the sun and believes in him, eke, as we said, this is the subjunctive because it ties back to henna. So everyone, in order that, he may have, everyone who sees and everyone who believes, eke may have, this is third person singular, um, uh, present active subjunctive, may have zoane ionion, life eternal is the idea, life into the ages is really more literally the notion, may have eternal life. So what Jesus says is if a person sees the Son, believes in the Son, that person has eternal life. This is really following up from the notion that this person will not be lost. They're not going to be destroyed. They're not going to be misplaced. They are going to have as a present possession, not a future possession, a present possession, that's the force of eke, life eternal. They have it already. Kai, this is anasteso. This is from anistemi. It means, I stand, and it can have the notion of a transitive verb, I make something stand, and that's really what's going on here. This is the future, first person singular, future active indicative, I will make him stand, out tone, the direct object of this verb, masculine, accusative, uh, singular, I will make him, singular, stand, I. Uh, so this is adding strength to this, it's emphatic, I, I alone, as it were, I'm the one who's doing this, I will make him stand in, um, at least implied, te escate, uh, in takes the dative, which we have here, this is the definite article in the dative singular feminine, going with escate himera, the feminine noun day, uh, our word ephemeral comes from this, uh, a day, Escate is the adjective modifying day. I will raise him up in the last day. So that's the will of the Father. 
that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him has as a present possession eternal life. And Jesus guarantees and promises at this point that he's going to raise up that person in the last day.